Hey everybody and welcome back. My name is Sue and I am from OML Embroidery and today we are going to make a Valentine's Day patch which is really cute. You can patch up jeans, you can patch up your shirt, you can patch up anything. You can glue it onto a hat, you can glue it onto the brim of the hat, you can glue it anywhere. So let's get started. This is so exciting. The first thing I want to do is make sure I am using the correct size hoop. And I wasn't. It was way, way, way too big. And I don't want to make a huge, a huge, huge design. So I want it to be four by four because I think that is a fantastic size for um, for a patch. And I'm gonna leave it on multi-needle machine so that my trims and whatnot show up. Okay, so it looks the same, but that's much better. The first thing we do, of course, is we are gonna make a shape. So I think this is the most Valentine's Day one. I like it and these hearts are really nice so you can change it around if you like it doesn't have to be you know this shape the first thing I want to do is take off the fill stitch and we'll leave it at zigzag stitch now if you wanted to you know change the shape a little bit I don't actually like that if you wanted it to be less pointy there's nothing wrong with it being pointy of course it's just a matter of going in and adding a few nodes and, you know, moving them over. You can play around with that. These are Bezier curves, so you have to grab a handle, you see, and make the, the curve really smooth. See, that's better like that. It's easy to do. So make the shape your own. Make it look really nice. That looks better. I can't tell if it's off a little bit. Hearts don't have to be perfect either. You can do, you know, Okay, not that, but you can make them, you know, groovy. Why not? I like that a little bit better. That's a little bit of a wobble in there, but play around at, with your Bezier curves and it works fantastic. This one is a little bit off, but you know what? That's okay. A heart is a heart is a heart. If you want it perfect, leave it the way that you found it. So there we go. Actually, that's a little bit better. So that was an easy fix. Get it how you want. Now, this is just a satin stitch. I want to go to embroidered patch, which is fantastic. It makes it so much easier. You could also go the applique wizard route and you would get the same basically the same thing but look at all the things you can change so satin stitch yes please nice width density is fine distance from original pattern well I don't know if I want it any bigger but we'll leave it so cutting line you could do cutting or a running stitch so either way that you wanted so this is going to be perfect and remember too you'll be able to send the heart to your cutting machine and be able to do it that way so this is our patch right here isn't that cool so i don't know why the cutting line is way out there though but you know what we're we're a little bit too big so let's make it a little bit smaller thank you very much see now that is okay, that is fine, that's okay, but let's go back a little bit because I want to do the select it and let's do it the applique style. There's a lot more things you can do with it and I, I really like being able to stitch it down. I'm gonna change it to zigzag stitch. So um, absolutely applique material, position, tack down covering stitch you have your choice here so there's a little more you know a little more chance of it v stitch e stitch depending on what you want i like a nice thick zigzag stitch and here's what i like output pattern add replace i i want it to replace it so that's what i'm working with now isn't that cool so there we go with all of our colors and it's gonna stitch our placement down now also i should point out that you can do this manually if you want you don't have to go the route that i did it's just easy and it does it you know very nicely so place 
put it down and cut out your fabric. It's going to zigzag it down and it's going to do the top. Now all you have to do, it's so easy, all you have to do is write your little message. So be mine. We could maybe do it this way. Whoops. Or not. Just hold on. Be, be mine. I really like this font. I'm kind of having fun with it for no particular reason. It's a built-in font, I'm assuming. And I just think it's groovy. But, you know, you can use any font that you want. You can make adjustments to it. Look, you can rotate the angle quite easily. That's kind of weird, but you know what? Why not? You could angle it around. Look right here. You could angle it around and it almost fits perfectly in there. Isn't that cute? Just like that, I clicked on the wrong thing and just like that, it's better. So, ah, this is going to be a cute patch too. This is really cute. But you can put any kind of message. You could, because we're putting pretty fabric down, you could put a motif stitch in there that kind of, or a quilting stitch kind of thing. Or you can just leave it plain and stitch it out. Play around with the fonts. Come up with something cool. Remember how the whole thing works. A water-soluble stabilizer, placement, stitch, stitch cut and finish and that's all there is to it to create a patch i hope you guys like this video i hope you guys get making some valentine's day patches with beautiful fabric thanks everyone for watching and i'll see you guys in the next video bye